Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. It's a space in which would be awesome, where in the background you see yourself an umbrella with some kind of fucking gas tank on it. So, you know. When the blah blah blah, we already read that one. And that is, we can measure the asymptomatic line with po positron emission tomography. Kurisu. Kurisu. I speak your name, our eyes meet. I love you. No. <laughs> he said it out loud. Karasu looks away. Her face is bright red. Oh my god. And you? <laughs> uh, uh, what? Oh my god. Do you? Uh, uh, how do you feel about me? <laughs> you, you want to know? I probably don't have. Uh, I probably didn't win this game. <laughs> Just for the record, I want to point that out. We're like 140 episodes in. I probably didn't get enough of the good things to win in any way. Kirsu suddenly looks me straight in the eye. Her face is still red, but her expression is firm. She walks straight up to me, grabs me by the collar, and jerks me... Oh! Hang on. Close your eyes! <laughs> Did I make her mad? Perhaps Kirsu hates me for some reason. Also, she looks fucking adorable in this particular image. I don't know what it is. Is that her face looks like different, but she looks looks adorable. If she really did mean all those insults she said to me, I'd be really sad. I slowly lick my trembling lips and timidly try to ask a question. Uh, why I close my? Just shut up and close them. <laughs> I do as I'm told, though I still don't know why she's so angry. My collar is still in Kirsu's grip. Oh, come on, come on. Abruptly, I oh, feel a soft sensation against my lips. <gasps> the faint scent of citrus tickles my nose. I open my eyes in surprise. Ah, uh, I'm looking over the shoulder of Okabe. <laughs> See Karasu's face scant millimeters away. And then I understand what has happened. She's kissing me. Her lips are very warm. My mind goes blank. Dude, I was in the same boat when I was like, uh... Oh, how fucking old was I? I think it was... 15? 14. 14. Because my first kiss was when I was like... 5 with my... With my friend from kindergarten. Boy, girl, whatever. And we were just like, Man, adults kiss. We should try it too. And we did. And I don't really count that, honestly. Um... But I had a first like... No, I was 16. I had a first, like, actual kiss, and I'm just like, like, when, you know, I'm my emotions get fried because they're overwhelmed, I, I go into analytical mode. So I'm just like, so I'm just like feeling all the sensations, I'm just sort of observing and processing them. So I'm just like, <laughs> one time I was fucking cuddling with, with my ex now, obviously, but like, when I was cuddling with, with, the, uh, with my girlfriend at the time, and I'm just like, man, my arm is, like, it kind of hurts. It's underneath her, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> and I'm able to think. I want to stay like this forever. But soon our lips separate. <laughs> Kirsu looks down shyly. I like it, but I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it's not like I did it because I wanted to. It. Oh, fucking. Excuse your way out of this one. I dare you. <laughs> it's just, you promised that you wouldn't forget about me. And that somehow means me kissing you. Which just shows that memories are hard to forget when they're coupled with intense emotions. <laughs> elaborative rehearsal. You're a virgin and a perv, so I was sure you'd have an elaborative rehearsal on your first kiss. It's really making it a long-term memory you'd never forget, so... <laughs> Fucking Karasu, man. In psychology, the act of transferring short-term memory to long-term memory. This is done by attaching meaning to the matter to be remembered, or by relating the matter to some other familiar memory. That does explain, somewhat, why when I'm walking along, and I'm listening to music, and I'm just sort of like, on a walk or whatever, and I remember a song, I then am immediately reminded of that moment walking. Unless I hear the song a lot, in which case it, it goes away. But, like, 
I can very distinctly remember just like when I'm trying to remember what I was thinking about on a walk, I remember what l music I was listening to at that particular moment. And I'm like, oh, I was thinking about that. Because, I don't know, music is fucking ingrained into my brain without I die. That's what I know. I, I just don't want you to forget about me, Okabe, no matter what. My heart fills with love for Karasu. She makes her frantic excuses. <laughs> what a relief. Karasu wasn't mad. She was just trying to hide her embarrassment. Oh my god, I'm so relieved. I want to be with her even more. I want to talk with her even more. I want to learn even more about her. But I know that wish can never come true. My chest tightens. I feel like I'm suffocating. Desperate to keep my emotions under control, I place my own hands on top of Karasu's, which is still grabbing my collar. <laughs> S sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> that wasn't my first kiss. Uh, why you? You're just a cherry boy? I feel like that term should be added to the tip list. Shut up, vi <clears throat> Shut up, virgin. I remember playfully kissing Mayuri in elementary school. And just a little while ago, I forcibly kissed Moeka to silence her. That was on another world line, and now it never happened, so I guess it doesn't count. I mean, if it, from your subjective reality, it counts. Because that's all memories are, subjective reality. Now, things happen, but people, over time, the memory is skewed. So they what they think happened, and what they're absolutely certain happened, might not have been what actually happened. So, yeah. So, it wasn't your first. Right, so... It only left a weak impression, probably not enough to bring along. Oh, I was real confused. Just like, why the fuck is he saying this shit? He's trying to get another one. <laughs> or not enough to bring, become a long-term memory. I'm lying, of course. I've never felt such an intense kiss as that. The shock was like a lightning bolt to the brain. But still, I'm lying. Because if I miss this opportunity, I'll never be able to touch Karasu again. This is my last chance. So, once more... He didn't say as a question, but I did. What? 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 Karasu fidgets. She's usually glares at me harshly, but now she's avoiding my eyes. I don't ever want to forget, so let's make doubly sure. I'm, I'm being all jokey and laughy, but like this is kind of a very intense mo emotional moment. I decide to take the initiative. I wrap my arm gently around Karasu's waist and pull her slender body toward mine. Against mine. Both of those. Th th then I guess there's no choice. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. I love that. Kirisu looks up at me shyly. Just a kiss, okay? Nothing more. What's she worried I'll do? Be gentle, okay? I run my fingers softly through her hair. Then I slowly bend down. Okabe. Ah, he didn't move even slightly. And she's adorable. Mm. <laughs> We're both shy, so we end up pecking at each other's lips like two small birds. Then we draw back and look at each other. Kirsu's eyes are wet. Tears are running down her cheeks. Aww. I kiss them all. Aww. Fucking. Oh my god. My, my heart is exploding with the feels. They're salty. Don't forget me. We press our lips together again. They're gonna fucking full on make out soon. Stronger than the first time. Longer than the last time. I never want to let go. We embrace each other tightly. Our feelings too powerful to contain. <laughs> we seek each other's warmth again and again. <laughs> Sounds. Locked in our embrace, we feel each other's breath. We feel each other's scent. We feel each other's taste. <laughs> These aren't how that, that works. It's too fast. Kirsu's whisper resonates through our embrace. Time is going by too fast. I could really use a word with Einstein right now. I'm confused about that one. Time is not absolute. Einstein proved that time could be fast or slow depending on the observer. Hey, Okabe. The theory of relativity is so romantic. And so sad, don't you think? How does Karasu feel about me? Um, I'm fairly certain you can pick up on context clues that she's India, man. 
I don't know how much, but definitely at least she feels positive positively. Also, fucking shit on my glasses. In the end, she never really answered my question. Oh, so, I've been there. Trust me. Early morning, Akihabara Station. Kirsu is standing before the entrance with her huge suitcase beside her. She waves to me shyly as I approach. And she blushes and shoots me her usual glare. After that kiss, Kirsu went back to her hotel to pack. The suitcase must hold everything that she brought to Japan. She's going back to America. So uh, well, then. Are you sure I shouldn't call Mary or Daru? I think that would just make it harder. But you, I have no trouble leaving behind. <laughs> wow, okay, Jesus. That was a joke. <laughs> Here's who looks like she's about to cry. I'm sure I look just as sad, but I won't cry. I don't have that right. This is a souvenir, take it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought he was gonna, like, fucking sweep her in. It's a bamboo helicopter equipped with a, a CCD camera, which allows it to record video in the air. A truly groundbreaking invention. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah, no, that's... I don't know, this is not called a drone or anything. No, that's fine. I, uh, going off on a tangent, because I'm just enjoying this too much to, to let it pass by. Um, I recently wrote a thing that I set in, like, the, the, the mid to, to late 2000s area. And one of the characters like this quote-unquote mad scientist, not based on Okabe. Um, he wasn't actually mad, he was just like, he just tinkered with shit and jumped to conclusions and stuff. But like, one of them, he made this like, lead box, like, that was fucking soldered to this high-speed propeller. It was, the, the world was, you know, I, I didn't really care to explain that sort of shit, but like, essentially he made his own drone and he called it a scatter cube. <laughs> Man, drones before drones are a real hoot. Sadly, due to the constant high-speed rotation, the video produces tends to cause motion sickness. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Just take it, it's not <laughs> even that bulky. <laughs> I wanted to give her future gadget number seven, Ghost in the Ball, but it was too big. Here she accepts bamboo helicam with a strange smile. <laughs> oh, fine, I guess I'll take it. And then... Silence. No words of farewell. Just, we just look at each other. Aomori. S sorry I couldn't go with you to Oimura. Mm. Yeah. Demo. But these two weeks were fun, in their own way. Mayuriya. Give my regards to Mayuri and Ishida, okay? Kersu spreads her arms wide. Without a moment's hesitation, I step forward and embrace the girl genius one last time. Okabe. Hang in there, Kabe. Stay well. Aww. Very somber, but very sweet goodbye. Kirsu smiles faintly, then turns and walks toward the entrance with suitcase in hand. I watch her go, unable to move a muscle. I want to stop her. I want to wrap my arms around her and tell her to stay with me forever. But I can't. This is what we decided. To save Mayuri. To save the future. I'm sorry, Kirsu. I can't save you. Kirsu will disappear. She'll be left behind on this world line. There's no place for her in the coming world. Whatever. I... I will remember you, Makis Kirsu. I will remember your warmth. I will never forget. I don't know whether Kirsu hears my words. She keeps walking. Stride steady. Back straight. Long, silky hair fluttering in the wind. <laughs> She's quickly fading into the distance. But I can tell. I see her shoulders trembling. Oh, no. We will never meet again. Our world lines will never cross again. I'm glad I met you, Karasu. I would have been lost without you. I love you. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, I gotta fucking wipe my eyes here. This is, this is a real nice moment. I stand there in the entrance as commuters file past until long after she vanished from sight, afraid that any emotion, any thought, might cause the tears to fall. Yeah, I've been there, man. Back when I used to care if people saw me crying. The time has come. 
We will now commence the final phase of Operation Vert Hende. Aaron Darrow turned to me and nod. Today is the last day of Kami Ma. Darrow wanted to attend, of course, but a little begging convinced him to prioritize the operation. Take a look around the lab. These 20 days have been madness. It's incredible to think that at one point this lab had a whole eight members. Now we're back to three. Memories we made. Experience we shared. To save Miuri, I will undo them all. There is sorrow in me, and guilt. I engrave them deep inside my heart. I'll never forget, I mustn't forget, these long yet short summer days. But still, I choose to erase our... To choose to erase our memories, I choose to return everything back to normal. Suzuha's mission is irrelevant, I'm not doing this for the future. As long as my area lives, nothing else matters. Dear, we may begin. You sure? Yeah. Okie dokie! Okie dokie! Dara starts typing on the IBM 5100. It's already connected to his main computer. This will get us into CERN's central database where they keep the data they mine with Echelon. There, will, uh, there we will locate the first email I sent on July 28th and erase all traces of its existence. With this I can reach the beta world line. At last, Mayuri will be safe. I look at Mayuri. She's on the couch, sitting straight as a ramrod with her grandmother's pocket watch pressed to her ear. She, st she stays still, her eyes closed. Whenever Mayuri wants to calm down, she listens to the sound of that pocket watch. Earlier I told Mayuri everything. I guess she's come to terms with it in her own way. The actual work I've left to Daru. No problem there. While waiting for him to finish, I walk into the development room. In the center of the room is a time leap machine. I squat down and gently brush my fingers against the microwave surface. It's cool to the touch. We've been through some harsh times together. I've made irreplaceable friends because of this thing, and because of this thing, I've hurt them. But I don't want to blame the tool. It's how you use the tool that matters. That's very mature of you. I've got to admit, saved me more than once. But still, once this is over, I'll destroy the time leap machine. We must never make the same mistakes again. Oh, Green, I found it! It's really there! The D mail I sent is there? It sure is, man. Dara points to a string of characters. My name is there, followed by the message I wrote about Karasu's death. Three lines total, each 12 characters long. This data led to CERN, led CERN to our doorstep. At FB's instruction, Moek and the Rounders attacked. Suzuha is right, then by erasing this data, we will escape from the Attractor Field Alpha, where CERN dominates the future. That will take us to the Attractor Field Beta. To the Beta World line where its range, where its range of, where, within its range of convergence. To a future without Mayuri's death. Mayuri is standing next to me, gazing intently at the monitor. So, I want to point something out. So... After all the... every arc, there's been, like, a sort of moment where you can, like, pause and be like, save, I can... I get a choice of, I choose to do the... the... the D-mail slash time leap machine slash whatever. Um, and you... and, like, I've saved those, and they're... they're in my saves database. But I didn't actually get that for this one. So, either this is supposed to happen, and I screwed up, and, you know, I don't get to be with Kara Sue, um, or... After the fact, something happens. So, we'll... I'll see. I'll wait and see, but... I don't know. Mary's standing next to me, gazing intently at the monitor. She ga grasped my hand firmly. Grasp it firmly! How can you It's okay. She looks anxious, so I pat her head to calm her down. Everything's set. One press of the enter key, and that data's gone. Dara stands up and gestures to the open seat. I'll leave that honor to you, Ocarine. I sit down and face the keyboard. This time. This time it ends. Karasu's face floats through my mind. I close my eyes and take a deep breath. Goodbye, Karasu. Ooh. Let's just save it right there. Yeah, let's... Right, th right there. Hmm. So... Karasu. Let's find out what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this cliffhanger. 
I, of course, am Kiwi. I'm great to hear yourself a delightful day. I promise I didn't intentionally talk enough in the episode so that we got to this point. Um, I did when we hit 1921, but not, like, after that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, am Kiwi. I'm great to hear yourself a delightful day. See you tomorrow. Mwah. Kisses.